Yay, you're back. Got oh, your present, Mazzy. Oh, ice. Proper ice. Oh, fantastic. I know you don't like hollow ice. I think that's proper ice. It looks good. It's better than ours. Oh, quick, get that in the freezer. Come 50, on in. 50 pence. For what, for me ice? For your ice. Okay, that's all right. I've got a crunchy blast, which I adore them. That needs to go in very quickly. Oh, yeah. And Hargard and Dars. Hargard Dars. <laughs> Sorted. Which flavour? Is that brownie, it's is it? It's a brownie, caramel That's brownie. Thing. Good yeah. flavour? Yeah, what yeah. it? Freezer. They've also got, they're not in the fridge or anything, but they've got, you know, them cartons of milk. Okay. Yeah. And I've got a parcel, I've no idea what this is. Oh, no idea? No idea. It says fragile. Fragile. Hey, excuse you. Oh, no, I do know what it is. <sighs> what this, is it? This one meant to come for two days. Oh! It's brand new external hard drive because the last one I had is about 10 years old and it doesn't work. <laughs> it's anymore. older than that. And this has a proper USB C. Well, not. It has a thing in it, so we can do that straight into his computer. Oh, that's handy. Brilliant. They're not cheap, are they? I don't know. I think 50 quid. But it's. Is it a terabyte? I don't know. But we need it. Yeah. Take that trash. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. So you've just been chilling outdoors all day, well... <laughs> I beg your pardon? <laughs> chilling outdoors? Well, you have been sunbathing out there. I've made two product reviews today. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. I made the uh, projector screen and I made... You only finished that off this morning. I made the video this morning and then I made Edit a... it. And is. then I tried to make another one, but the product was rubbish. Yeah. And then I've just made another one. Yeah, all I'm saying is that you're sunbathing today. And I've got ice and ice Thank cream. You. Right, bye. I've got Eat everything. the road, Jack. Saw Bob. He's all right. Hello, Bob. Yeah, and I've done everything today. Stress, 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 stress. Me? Why? Oh, you nearly had a heart attack. I nearly Good had an morning. heart attack this morning. <laughs> Not literally. Don't panic, everyone. <laughs> so... I'm going through my YouTube analytics. Now it's always a couple of days behind, but it was very early and I wasn't fully awake and it said on there the 7th of May. And I thought, right, we're going on the 14th, so it's a week. And then I thought, oh, no we're not, we're going on Monday. It's not a week. That would mean we're flying on Thursday. So I started to panic a bit. So I thought I better go to check, go online and check what the boarding pass and thing says. Went on boarding pass, 5th of May we're flying. She's booked it for the 5th of May. <laughs> Did I panic? I didn't panic, unusually. <sighs> I thought, I thought, I, I was calm. We've already missed us playing, apparently. Yeah. Turns out I was looking at last year's holiday boarding pass. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> I'm still recovering from that one. Yeah. It affected you, that one, didn't it? Right. My main job today... Yes. You're actually doing stuff. Oh, yeah. Look at... Check this. Ah! It looks worse on camera. Look at my white lines from where I was sat down yesterday. Turn around and see the white back. He didn't even bother to do his back. <laughs> so today I've got to do the back. <laughs> Otherwise I am going to look stupid going into the swimming pool. But you have caught a nice colour and it's a base. It's a base. Yeah. It's a base. I think you're better off getting the base here in England than yeah. in Turkey. <laughs> so I've got to sunbathe for an hour today. What a hard job, eh? <laughs> uh, first... That's if, if the sun comes out... It will. Don't worry. It's going to be 18 degrees. Oh, I don't know. Um, I'm going to try and get the bin man to take this, I'm sure he will, he normally does. That's my last box. And then just a little, some of this stuff I can put in storage now. I want everything put away, darling. To me, to me, to me. Everything put away except for the chairs and the table. And my beer fridge. Oh, and the tumble dryer. I need tumble dryer for a bit. I might do. I will do whatever I can. We'll see. I've really not got... I've got quite an easy day today. You have done for the last four or five days. So I better get cracking. I had a phone call the other day. It says, hello, it's Mazzy. Thought you don't sound like Mazzy and I'm stood next to Mazzy and it ain't Mazzy. <laughs> it was a, another Mazzy, a Maz. Maz. Uh, some of the people who bought one of us bikes and they bought me a lovely nesting box gift. Look at this. 
It's so cute. Little bird box caravan, which I need to get up now because they are nesting. There's def definitely got to be a nest now in that red one. Definitely, isn't there? But, oh, and, and that one uh, yeah, over there. There's a story with that one. <laughs> I, I think I told them. I don't think you did. I think I said it in the actual review. Oh. But I tried to lift one of these, this wooden post up, thinking it was empty, and a bird flew out, so... Yeah, anyway, a big thank you to Ray and Maz for that lovely yeah, present. Yeah, sorry I didn't get to see you that day. But there's always another time. So there we have it. Our own caravan bird box. Beautiful. All ready to be filled by a bird and it's going to be well happy in there. Um, birds have been coming in and out of here constantly. I just saw him on the feeder then, or her. I think there's chicks in there. When I put my ear up to it, I can hear something. Not chirping, but like... I definitely think there's something in there going on. There's definitely eggs or something. Buzzing. So we'll have them when we come back off as a holiday. Because we're going on holiday. Okay. <clears throat> Pretty much done for today. It is too hot. Got my shorts on. I think JP gave me these. Nike. I don't like Nike anymore. I might even try and cross it out. Uh, yeah, we're going to do a bit of sunbathing, I think. I need to do my back. Mazzy needs to get out of them winter clothes. I need to get out of the van. I haven't been out in the van. I haven't experienced this. So I said to you today, because it's been an easy -ishy day, I want to get out in my bikini. Okay. <laughs> no, we're not filming it <laughs> at all. Um, I've pretty much emptied in here. Just a few bits. Easy bits. So I know now, well I can fit it all in the garage if I have to. So that's almost done, isn't it? Yeah. So well, I've got a bunch of change. You said grab about a tenner. I don't know. I just grab loads of money. We're off down to the... The shop. The shop. Because I've never seen the shop fully up and running yet. I need some pop. Well, you got ice cream and stuff last night, yesterday, didn't you? Oh, I tell you something, I'm addicted to crunchy blasts. Oh, you can't get another one, though, because you've got a tub now to eat. Yeah, I know. My ducks are coming. <laughs> Can you see them? They haven't been there since half past four this morning. They've started coming really early when there's no food out for them. So that's my first view at the shop. A field view shop. I like that name. Did you like that name, babe? Um, well, I'm stood here, I can't see a field, I can see a garage, oh, yeah. I can see a pile of rubble. <laughs> You're on one today, aren't you? Uh, yeah. So they've got loads of essentials, soap, sprays, dish, dish washing up, dishing, washing uppy stuff, <laughs> batteries, binny bags, oh, lighters again, look, and fly stuff. There's no price on the breads. Yeah, I was wondering how much the bread is. Well, that's only 75p in Tesco, so I can't imagine it's much more than that, is it? Well, they need to make a profit. Oh, yeah, I know it? that. Yeah, I know that. Or is that just for them? To oh, use in the cafe? that's probably for them in the cafe. Oh. Oh, silly. I need one. Well, how do you know how much the ice creams are? It says on the door. Well, there you go then. There ain't bread for sale then. Oh, we were saying that'll be good. No, no. So, did you order that one this morning on Tesco's? No. Well, you'll have to order it now then. Okay. All right. What's this stuff? Yeah, I just wanted to have a look Juices. around. Oh, lemon juice. Mmm. Dumpling mix. Oh, yeah, that's handy to have there. And cornflakes. Just little essentials. Grain rice as well. Coffee. Tea baggies. Cotton pads. This is what I should have got. Redox. Redox for me holiday. You could have done that on the um, travel one. Could have had a travel one. Do we need a lip balm? No, I've got, for I've got, I've got loads. I, I'm bringing one on holiday. You can borrow mine, darling. We oh. share everything, don't we? Look, crispy onions as well, I've just noticed. They're nice. Oh, yeah. The only thing with those is once they're open, they don't really stay that well, do they? Oh, no, you're meant to eat them all in one go, surely. Well, yeah, probably. 
Right, so what are you getting? You needed to get some. I thought you. Liquid. I thought you said they were in the fridge. No. Oh. Oh, well. I need some liquid. Get some fluid then. What am I going to have? Don't know. Sprite's always good in red hot Mm. weather, innit? Oh, I'm just checking out the munchies. Look, they're actually good prices for those. Little 20p for bounty bars and Milky Way things. See what else? Oh, they've got your licorice all sorts there, look, babe. Um, anything else you like? Anything else you fancy? I might have to come back tomorrow. Get some crunchy bar, babe. You keep going on about a crunchy. No, not a crunchy. A cr- country, cr- crunchy blast. Long. Yeah, but you still like crunchies. No, no, no. I'm a crunchy How many are you getting? One. Four. It's only for two. Yeah, yeah, okay. How much is that then? I think there's 75. Oh, 80 pence. 80 pence. 80 pence. Calculator. <laughs> 80 pence. <laughs> £3.20. Don't know what's there. I just grabbed everything. One. So they do 20. have really good essentials here. Toothbrush, look, you could have just bought a toothbrush there though, look. 220. 320. See what we're talking about is we just did a shop on Tesco's and you just ordered some um um travel sort of shampooy bits to go on holiday with, haven't you? Yeah. New toothbrush and stuff. Right, is that it then? Wagon wheels. I couldn't have th- think of anything worse. They were horrible. I hated wagon wheels. Did you used to like them? They were lovely when they tasted like wagon's wheels. Nowadays they taste like chocolate and all sorts of sugar. Well, that's rubbish. a jammy one, yeah. Right, what am I doing? Yeah, what are you Date doing? Ninth. Are you the first person to use the shop? No. I want my sides and backs shaving. Oh. <laughs> and my top just a tiny tad c- coming off top. Well, that's I've got all. The longest one on there. Yeah, I don't want much off top. Um, I'm just try- So you want the sides normal though, yeah? You can go down one if you want on sides. I don't mind be- having baldy sides for me holiday. Um, I've just had some maracas given to me by Neil. Because like it says I look. They're actually really cool. It says I look like Bez at Happy Mondays, so cool. And then I thought, well, they're not called maracas. Maracas are those, aren't they? If you know what I mean. Yeah, well, I just looked it up, and these are called maracas. Yeah. So what are those called? Maybe they're all maracas. I don't know. I don't know. Right, we're going to get outside and do this. Yeah, because she's twisting my melon, man. Twisting my melon, man. Uh, I'm getting my hair cut, <laughs> so I'm going to cut now because I'm going to take my top off. What do you mean I'm twisting your melon, man? It's a Happy Mondays song. Oh, I need some shades. Oh no, not while I'm cutting your hair. <laughs> See you when my hair's done. Right, that's my hair cut. Look posh. And as Mazzy said, I am starting to go quite grey. I think now though it is because of the sun, being out in the sun, it's lightening the hair as well though. I don't mind, I don't care. Go old, grow, grow old gracefully, darling. Grey and gracefully. I mean go, grow old. I'm not getting old. <laughs> Only 27. <laughs> um, <a> one. <laughs> it is. Been talking about Turkey this morning. Our holiday. Because we're going on holiday, in case you don't know. Don't they know yet? I don't think Should so. Should we tell them again? We're going on holiday. We're going on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> we're off to Turkey. <laughs> um, so I was watching a few things last night. Scams to watch out for in Turkey. Mm, this is interesting. There were some interesting ones. Like number one, if there's a shoe shiner walks in, walking in front of you and he drops his brush, don't pick it up and take it back to him, because that's a scam. Where you take it back, says, "Oh, let me do his shoes." Does his shoes and then ask for money. Don't do that. It reminds me of the story with the guy the other day that came to the pitch about his father. Was it his father? He said, "I don't know." He said. A uh, shoe shiner asked him for a light, so he gave him a light and he smoked it until the ash fell off onto his shoe. He says, Oh, I'm sorry, I'll clean that up. So he shined his shoe up and uh, charged him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else was there? Restaurants. Take yes. a picture of the menu when you're with picking the with the prices because some restaurants will then charge you like two, three times more. And if you query it, they bring out the new, a different menu, and say, "Oh no!" If you if you pick up on it, they say, "No, that's an old menu. Sorry, we'll give you the wrong one." So watch out for that one. What else were there? Um, 
taxi drivers are taxi, a rip off yeah, yeah. make sure you get the yellow taxis with them and tell them it has to be on the meter don't trust them and watch your change and watch your change uh, can't go in a mosque if you've got shorts on women have to cover up can't put have shoes on apart from that you can pretty much walk around how you want can other women don't have to cover up their arms you've got to be you can't be flaunting it let's just put it that way but yeah you can just I be thought like, you had to cover up your arms apparently you're all right yeah. as long as you don't overdo it yeah. Well, that's not me anyway, so I won't be flaunting it. <laughs> so, yeah, some really interesting little facts. Yeah, if there's any more that you lot might know, let us know in the comments as well. Just any little... scams? Oh, another one, tourist guides. Uh, if a tourist guide comes up and says, oh, come over here, I'll show you something really good, and starts talking to you, he'll, he'll ask you for money and end, so don't yeah. tell him to go away. <laughs> that's another. Yeah, I'd be interested to know if there's any more. And it helps other people out as well, doesn't it? So mm. it's interesting info. Right. So in other words, keep keep hold of your money, basically. <laughs> Let's go maraca over here. Playing with Neil's maracas today. So Neil has said he wants to he wants the job. I was gonna just put all this away for when we're away. But Neil actually wants to feed the animals. I don't know, Dave offered over there. Does he want to, does he? Right sound of it, yeah. I think he's jealous. Why? Because he ain't got any animals and we have. No, he's trying to be hard. So, I need to tell him what he needs to do. So, I need to get my stuff. What I'm going to do is leave the food out I'll fill these up, don't worry. Plenty more. Ow, 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 ow! Oh! Right on me knuckle. Oh. It was heavier than I thought. I thought you hurt your bad arm. No. Right? Yeah, okay. So, job to do every day. Number one, do not leave this or that in the same place for more than 48 hours otherwise we're going to have round circles very very important so just move everything slightly each day number two put some this has all has to be done in the morning by the way it's very important that it's done first thing in the morning because other we don't want any food left overnight basically yeah, that we want them to eat through the day. So, in here we put some squirrel food. The squirrel loves it, so does the pheasants. This is the squirrel food box, which will be full. So just put a couple of handfuls of that in the bottom of there. And remember, move it. Move it around. Uh, you can spray a bit of water in the top if you like. This needs emptying out every morning and then spraying down to get the scum off the sides and there is a lot of scum on the sides and then filling up again as I say very important to move it around that is with the hose which I'm going to leave out it will be here um, so I'll just use the jet to clean it off and then shower to fill it back up again because the ducks do like to have a little swim um, that's your water one. It's got smaller holes than that. I've cut bigger holes in that for the food. So you'll know which is which. Just fill that up with the hose water again each day. This one um, basically takes almost a full one of them. So just get the food out of here, which will be full again. Fill that up and replace it. And that's all you have to do each day, Neil. And if Neil isn't around, uh, Dave, if you can do it, if Neil, you're not gonna be around, tell Dave to do it. I want this doing every day to keep the animals happy. It's either got to be done or it hasn't got, or it's not to be done. And that's it. Look after me zoo for me, please, whilst bird I'm bird away. Feeders. Bird feeders will be okay. They're not really using them, look. That hasn't been touched, man. 
there's a few fat barley bits being eaten but that's about it and they don't even like this even the rooks don't like this I don't know what it is tiny little dots The grass needs cutting every four days and yeah. the day before we get back because the ducks like that. They do. That's they do. very important. That's really important. Yeah, grass needs cutting. <laughs> I was going to cut it before we go, but I don't know if I'm going to, you know. It's not overly bad, although it's not great. But it's too hot. <laughs> it's just scorchingly hot. It's like 20 degrees until we leave now every day it's 30 degrees in Turkey for the next 10 days after we arrive it's you too much 33. up to well 33 possible ah. <laughs> it's too much just saying it's all right if you've got a pool to jump into but we haven't oh we will have we will have you know why because we're going on we're holiday, holiday. <laughs> so I just got me mop out from behind here which reminds me, I have to say to you, young man. The other night, when I was sitting out here, I thought there was a fire behind there. Yeah, I did. <laughs> you did as well? Yeah. I, why haven't you used them all? We've well, too many solar lights. So well, are you going to give them to someone then? Well, no, because they haven't got bottoms on them. Oh, haven't they? What That's do you mean? I put them there. I couldn't stake them in. Oh. Well, Maybe where's the need... bottoms? They're in grass in ground. You've left them in there? Well, yeah, and I can't find them now. Oh, my heavens. So what it is is one, two, three, four, five garden lights, but no stakey bits. Oh, I can't even give them away like that then, can you? Well, if anyone wants them, are they the new ones? They are the new ones, aren't they? No, they're the good ones. The oh, are they? They're the, the good ones. Well, I actually thought that was a fire going on in there the other night. Right, anyway, I've got women work to do. How's your sunburn today, darling? Okay. There's a few white dots where it's trying to blister there. Well, it looks like it's, it's going to go that brownie colour now, so... Yeah, nice one. I need to get some on my back. Yeah, you didn't bother yesterday, did you? Because you were feeling a bit... Ugh. Yeah, from too much sun. I think sun. thinking, feeling a bit... <sighs> Because we're not used to heat anymore, we've forgotten no. what it's like. My eyes had been struggling in this light, wasn't it? Like really getting sore eyes and stuff, but... I think we've forgotten how to just lay down and enjoy the sun. Relax. I did yesterday for the first time, didn't I? In God knows how long. Yes. Which was nice, so I actually really enjoyed that. I might lay down for an hour maximum later on. I'm going to today. It, Try and work on me tan, me base coat. <laughs> so for tea tonight, I'm going to try something different because we're just trying to use stuff up which is in the cupboard. And I'm having like a pasta dish, I think, with hot dogs. But I don't fancy hot dogs. Has anyone else ever done this? You know when you get sausages and you slice them in half so that it cooks fully? throughout I like sausages like that but has anyone ever done it with a hot dog slice a hot dog in half put it in the air fryer and hopefully the inside will go more sausagey rather than that watery you know what I mean so that was my idea it might be a new thing you might see people selling them half hot dog sausages in tins anyway uh, I got a lovely little present today Hi Dan and Mazzy, I, I don't know who it's from, I can't read it and I know they did say they were going to send something but I can't remember who it was, I'm so sorry it looks like Choz Caster on there I don't know, I don't know who it is but thank you very very much because this is all the airs in Belgium, Luxembourg and the Netherlands so you've got a map and the book which we won't be using this year, but we might next, you never know. And we've got one for Spain and Portugal, which we definitely will use this year. So it goes into detail about all the airs. And what I really like about it is the map. 
this map is the perfect size for our travels let me try and open this up oh come on come on you know you want to look at this so Santander somewhere down here you've got your Benidorm somewhere down here uh, so that's the perfect size so we can map out where we go where we're wanting to go all these yellow bits are airs this is brilliant I really like this so thank you very much for sending us this that's gonna come in very very handy we did have a I don't know if to get another one or not you know the campsites is it a <sighs> A something, CA something, where you get campsites cheaper or something. I don't know if to do it this time. So we did it last time, we didn't really serve anything, didn't find it very useful. But I don't know. But we gave that book away, we left it down there for somebody to take. So I might have to get that again. Anyway, yeah, thank you very much. I'm really not up to doing anything today. And I was the same yesterday and the day before. It's just too hot. I'm fine. I'm really struggling in this heat. Um, I've got my suitcase to do. The awning has to come down on the last day, obviously. But apart from that, there really isn't much I need to do, really. You know, I've pretty much cleared this ready. Yeah, I've not a lot to do. Just need to check my case. And Liverpool are playing. Liverpool on Monday night. Liverpool are on. We set off Monday. Right, I'm gonna have to watch football in hotel room. That's gonna be a good start to his holiday, isn't it? Right, dear. I'm gonna watch football now. Oh, it's just getting hotter and hotter. My squirrels. I love my squirrel. Absolutely adore my squirrel. So I've been sitting here, and he just keeps coming. He's been just sitting here eating them. When he finds the big ones, which are his favourite, these and the hazelnuts. The hazelnuts are his favourite. They've all gone, look, already. Oh, no, there's one there, look. Put it on top for him. Um, if he gets them, he generally comes and stands on the top of this post or this post, depending on how threatened he feels. At the moment, he's gone in there. I think he's getting a bit hot. Uh, just to let everybody know on campsite, we're going on holiday, as you know. The awning is coming down. I'm going to be taking that down. So, people are probably going to be worried about the weather. Because I am the campsite weather forecaster. Um, did I ever tell you the story, by the way? What do they call them? A weather... a weatherman? A weatherman. Meteorological realist. Weatherman. Has anyone heard of Paul Hudson? Now he was the weatherman for um, Look North, and then B BBC North or something, and then he's done. A f he did a f quite a few national ones as well. Paul Hudson. I, I used to play cricket with him. I did. First time I met him, it was the under under thirteens, under fourteens at cricket. Uh, I joined a cricket club uh, and I went down and he was like one of the older ones and I was the youngest and they says well come on then let's see how you, what you can do so I bowled a few balls I think I bowled three balls at Paul Hudson and I bowled him out twice and I was really young so they were quite impressed with me and Paul Hudson went on to play he was a fantastic cricketer absolutely fantastic Went on to play for Yorkshire under 18s or something, and then maybe under 21s. And I really thought he was going to become a. That was going to be his job. I thought he was playing for England one day, but then I saw him a few years later. He was on uh, the weather. The weatherman. Let me just wipe you. Oh, back, let's get back to my story, shall we? <laughs> so, yeah, I am the campsite weatherman, and basically, if my awning goes down, everyone else puts their awning down. Um, because they know it's going to be high winds well I'm not going to be here and that ain't going to be up so if you're watching this and you're on campsite and you're worried about the weather just take a look at my storm glass so there it is 
at the moment it's showing full sun it's crystal clear and it's all at the bottom that means full sun so don't worry about the weather just take a peek over and look at that from a distance and it'll let you know if it's gonna get stormy just waiting for Neil now he's coming over with the lawnmower I've asked him to do this bit quite quickly because Mazzy wants to come out and put a bikini on I think and get a bit of colour ready for his holiday a lot of talking in this vlog now isn't there can't help it I do like to talk uh, Timu we've got another Timu haul coming and we've concentrated around barbecue stroke picnic things so we're, when we come back from his holiday because we're going on holiday we're going to be doing a picnic and a barbecue kind of video so excited about that uh, just had someone get in touch will you review one of our fan heater fans sorry we've done a heater for them in the past and it was a very good company to work with so it's going to be good to get a heat a fan a cooler in this weather isn't it we have got a couple but another one will never go amiss right i'm going to chill out for the day i think yeah i've nothing else i'm trying to get a bit of color on my back but i'm not succeeding i, I just can't lie down i just can't don't know let's see if mazzy has a few last words for you Hello. i've what? polished up your glasses oh thank you as good as i can anyway we've lost these are the ones which are bluetooth now the company yeah. got really snotty really I nasty not with that when we were doing the review on that with another pair they sent you for the computer yeah i reviewed these and everything went well and they were very happy with the review yeah. and we i loved them absolutely loved them and then he sent another pair which i never asked for yeah he just sent them didn't he yeah and he got snotty with me because i didn't review them and i thought well i'm not going to review them because they're pretty much the same thing and he got snotty he got threatening he was starting to threaten with caught and all sorts yeah but bring it on bring it on there was no proof of you agreeing to any of it was there so can't do jack um yeah. but i've lost the charger i think to charge them up which i'm gutted about i think i threw it away because these were brilliant just for sitting down putting my bluetooth on and listening to music but i'm i'm gonna wear them on the holidays uh, as my sunglasses because they are comfortable as well and they're called rocket by the way uh they actually did something with Ronnie O'Sullivan. They had a Ronnie O'Sullivan pair. Yeah, despite what we're say, saying about it, they were brilliant. Yeah, they're brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. And it was magic how they work. You can actually hear music in your ears. Weird. Right, so, yeah, we're explaining. Have you cut them in half? No, not yet. I've got to cook them first. Oh, no, no. I wanted them cut. Well, cooking. I can't yet. Oh, I wanted them cutting in half before. Yeah, but they've come cooking. out the freezer. Oh. I've come out the freezer. Oh, we'll see how it goes. I've only just been able to get the skins off. I adore this stuff. If I could have any pastas and rices in my life, it would be bachelor's pasta and sauce, tomato, onion and herb, and um, the beef savoury rice. They're the two best things in the world. We're trying to clear out and just use what we got, okay? So you're not too happy about today's dinner, but... No, I am. I am now I've seen that. I am. Yeah. Right, Neil is doing our pitch. Good man. And then uh, Mazzy's going to sun. Well, we're both probably going to be doing a bit of sunbathing. Neil, would you like to say goodbye to everybody? Before I go, yeah. Have you been shaking your maracas, man? See you later. No, we don't do that. We do fist pumps. Oh. Say bye. Right. bye. Have you been have you been twisting your melon, man? Because you need to. Because if you haven't, you need to go. Oh. <laughs> oh, you owe me a new camera. <laughs> but hey, we've just been offered to have our lawn done. As long as we can make a gap, that's not big enough. You'll have to move this one, babe. I mean, it's not big enough. I don't know. Is it? I need to get a bottle of water out. Here, yeah. you take. To oh, can you reach the bottle of water, darling? It's right back there. You see. What? Even before he's seen the video saying mow me lawn, he's mowing me lawn. So I've cut the grass. I've done a pretty good job. It's looking a lot smoother now. I'm happy with that. Yeah, ready for his holiday. 
I just need to do a bit more over there, which I'll do in a minute. Bing, done it, did it. I'm amazing, absolutely amazing. There you go, I've done my lawn, woohoo! Big thank you for me, Neil. Thank you. What? What's Neil got to do with all? He's cut the grass and it looks Has better. It? Neil hasn't cut the grass, I've cut the grass. It looks better. I've but... cut the grass. Yeah. It, it looks better than when Dan does it with the other lawnmower. Freshening up over there, babe. Yes, because when I did mow the grass, I needed to move this out of the way and I lifted it up trying to do it carefully and it all went all down my leg and that oh. foot is wet through. Take your shoes off. Well, I will be doing when I get settled. Mm. Yeah. Right, should we wrap this one up here then, darling? Well, it was already wrapped up, but. Oh. Well, let's re wrap it up. Let's re wrap Can it I up. Can I do it? Yeah. Later, dudes. Love you lots. We're going on holiday. <laughs>